In today's investing session, we are talking about investing in property and we're turning to Josh Ingalls, who's with EXP Realty. Good to have you on our show today. Hey, thanks so much for Angela. I'm really excited to be on the show. You do it all. You buy, sell, invest, flip, rent properties all the time. So I'm dying to hear what you have to say about a number of topics. Awesome. Let's start with renting. You want to buy a rental property. What are you looking for there? So what I look for when I'm looking to buy a rental property, I'm looking for a minimum of $300 net cash flow every single month. Everybody has different criteria, but that's the criteria I use in my business. And then if you're flipping a home, what kind of margins are you looking at there? So when I'm flipping a home, I'm looking for, again, for a absolute net 10% profit. Um, so if I sell a house for 200 grand, I want to make at least 20K, but that's like the bare, bare minimum. I'm usually going for a minimum 15% return, but I have gone down to 10 if it's really simple rehab. When you actually pick out a property, how do you know the difference between a gold mine and a money pit? <laughs> So gold mine, you look at the deal and the numbers just, you know, are great. Like you're looking at a 20% return. Money pits a lot of times is when it's an older home or, you know, let's say it's a historical home, for example. I've done, made the mistake of doing that. The rehab becomes really expensive or it's going to take you a very long time to do the renovation. And the longer it takes you to rehab it from beginning to end, the more holding expenses you're going to have and that just eats into your profit very quickly. Right, because you just want to flip that home. And when you're looking at these homes, what specifically do you feel like you spend the most money on fixing up? Yeah, um, so kitchens and baths sell homes. So when you're buying a home, the best returns you can have when you're looking to buy a home, number one is the front door. The front door needs to look amazing. It's worth spending an extra $500 because that's the first thing Curb appeal is so important, mm -hmm. and so is web appeal. And when people look online, the first photo is always going to be that outside. So that front door makes a difference. And then inside the home is those kitchens and bathrooms. That's where you want to spend the money. How do you deal with rentals? Because sometimes getting rent money can be kind of tricky and painful yeah. at times. Yeah, I, the key to success, if you're gonna build a rental empire, in my opinion, is have a great property management team. Now, what about when you're actually investing in property? Do you ever just buy a property and hold on to it with hopes that down the line, it's gonna be worth more money? Yeah, so I don't, because I look at that more as speculative, meaning um, you're counting on the markets to rise. And I think a lot of people got in trouble in 06 and 07 that people were looking at that. So it has to make sense today. How are you finding the environment recently or lately as far as picking out properties? Have there been any changes that you're noticing? Um, so like I said, I've seen of the, the activity and the competition really increasing on MLS properties. So this, this means properties that are listed by real estate agents these homes have gotten very expensive on the bottom and then the resale has been pushed down. Well, you have been a wealth of information. Thanks so much for coming on our show right, today. Thanks so much, Angela. I really appreciate it. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.